what's up guys it's ryan Shear here with dex 3.11.0.1 this is the official public release of our latest version of dex 3. new in this release is the ability when adding singers and songs to rotation to apply key changes not only are those key changes applied when adding to rotation and automatically applied in the player once you load and play the song but they are also recorded in history so you can access singer song history add the singer in the track back to rotation and will maintain that recorded key change. Uh, I'll demonstrate for this for you really quickly right now. Uh, so I've got Dex 3 here. I've got a, no songs in rotation, so let me access some karaoke tracks. We'll just take, I don't know, the first track in the list. I'm definitely not going to be singing Taylor Swift for you today, but we'll use it for demonstration purposes. I'm going to adjust the key to one and a half steps. So as you can see, let me demonstrate that for you one more time. As I drag a song into rotation on top of my name, you will see that it pre-highlights my name. So then all I have to do here is you'll see the new key adjust menu here uh, where you've got up and down arrows that will adjust the key. Now the step, the amount of the semitone step, that is based on the setting you have under the general tab in Dex 3's options, where you can set it uh, based on uh, quarter semitone steps, half steps, or full steps. So right now in options, I have it set to a half step. So I'll go ahead and key it up three steps, which is three half steps, which puts me at 1.5 semitone steps. And I'll click OK. And you'll see the song go into my queue. Now, what you'll notice that's different is that to the right of the track title, you will see in brackets here, key plus 1.50. So that indicates the amount of the step that I pre-applied. It's already showing in rotation. So all I have to do is click Load Singer. And not only is it going to load and play the track, but it's going to automatically apply the key step in the player. So we'll hit Load Singer. You'll see it. Now, I've got my volume down so that I don't infringe on any copyright issues on YouTube when this is uploaded, but as you can see in the player section here up where it, uh, the key is indicated that I see my step. So it's automatically being applied as soon as the song is loaded and is played. So as you know, as you may already know, songs are then added to history after 30 consistent seconds of playback in the player. Uh, so we'll let this go for a couple more seconds because of the long intro. Um, it's not quite at 30 seconds of playback, but we should be getting there in a moment. Um, so that should do it, most likely. So I'm just going to hit stop on the player. Now, if you go to history, and what I would do is if you're, you know, if you're functioning, if your function right now is to host karaoke, then you can apply the karaoke filter so you only see karaoke tracks in the history list. So as you can see, here's the track I just played. I'm going to go ahead and clear out rotation completely real quick. I'll just delete myself. Now, if I want to send this track back to rotation, I can either drag and drop it over here or double click it, but I want you to see what's different now. So when I double click the track, it'll ask me, well, it'll show my name already highlighted. It'll show the key change. I just have to click OK, and there it goes. Or if I just drag and drop, I'll show you what's different. It'll just go right into rotation with my name, obviously the track, and the key change applied. So again, just as a rehash here, if you want to bring up a singer, a specific singer, all you have to type is the S, semicolon, and their name. So that's going to bring up all tracks I've sang for more than 30 seconds. I, don't, I technically haven't sang them, uh, but for demonstration purposes, I think you get the point. So there you go. So there's my list of tracks in the order I sang them. And when I add songs back to rotation, if a key change was applied in a prior session, in any prior session, when you added the track to rotation and providing you use load next singer to load and play from rotation, that will maintain and record the key change in history. So you can be reused in future sessions. If you got any questions about the new key changes and the upgrades we've applied here to 3.11, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks. <laughs>